The system controller is a small computer that controls and monitors HeartMate 2 left ventricular assist device system operation. It sends power and operating signals to the HeartMate 2 left ventricular assist device and adjusts device operation to maintain programmed levels of cardiac support. The user interface on the system controller is the primary interface for users during routine system operation. It uses sounds, lights, symbols, and on-screen messages to communicate about how the system is working. The system controller issues two types of alarms, hazard and advisory. Hazard alarms occur for conditions that are potentially life-threatening for the patient and require immediate attention. Advisory alarms are important but not life-threatening. When an alarm occurs, messages appear on the system controller user interface screen to help resolve the problem. These screen messages indicate the alarm type and the action required to resolve the alarm. The timer on the screen counts up in seconds, indicating how long the alarm has been occurring. If multiple alarms are active, only the highest priority alarm will be displayed on the system controller. This module will provide additional details regarding system controller hazard alarms. Patients can resolve and troubleshoot many system controller alarms on their own, without clinician intervention. Primarily, patient resolvable alarms involve maintaining connections to the HeartMate 2 LVAS driveline and external power sources. There are, however, situations where clinician help is needed. In these situations, a call hospital contact message appears on the information display screen. Depending on the center, the clinician may ask the patient to replace his or her system controller. In other cases, the patient may be admitted for additional diagnostics and resolution of the situation. System Controller Pump-Off What you see and hear This alarm is indicated by Pump running symbol is off, black Low flow and call hospital contact alternate on the user interface screen. Flashing red heart warning light on the user interface. Constant audio tone. What this means? The heart made to LVAD, frequently called the pump, has stopped running. OR. The pump has been turned off using the pump stop button on the system monitor for use with the HeartMade 2 LVAS. What you should do. After immediately connecting to a power source, follow these steps to resolve this alarm. 1. Push any button on the system controller. 2. If the pump does not restart, check the fixed speed setting. If it is below 8000 RPM and the system controller backup battery is not installed, the pump can only be started from the system monitor clinical or settings screen by pressing the pump start button. 3. Switch to the backup system controller if the pump does not start. Alarm silence period. The silence period is 2 minutes or until a new hazard alarm occurs. Press the silence alarm button to silence the alarm. System controller driveline disconnected alarm. What you see and hear. This alarm is indicated by Pump running symbol is off, black. Connect drive line appears on the user interface screen. Flashing red heart warning light on the user interface. Flashing red light adjacent to the drive line connection. Constant audio tone. What this means? This alarm means the drive line is disconnected from the system controller or not properly inserted into the system controller. The pump has stopped. What you should do. 1. 
Reconnect the drive line to the system controller immediately and move the safety tab into the locked position. 2. If the pump does not restart, press any button on the system controller to try and restart the pump. 3. Check the fixed speed setting. If it is below 8000 RPM and the system controller backup battery is not installed, the pump can only be started from the system monitor clinical or settings screen by pressing the pump start button. 4. Replace the system controller if the drive line is connected and the alarm persists. Reconnect drive line. Align the arrow or alignment mark on the drive line with the arrow on the system controller and firmly insert the drive line. Then move the safety tab on the system controller to the locked position. Alarm silence period. The silence period is 2 minutes or until a new hazard alarm occurs. Press the silence alarm button to silence the alarm. Note, you may have to push the silence alarm button twice to silence the alarm. This is normal. System controller no external power alarm. What you see and hear. This alarm is indicated by flashing red battery warning light on the user interface. Connect power immediately and backup battery graphic alternate on the user interface screen. Flashing yellow light near the black power cable connector. Flashing yellow light near the white power cable connector. Constant audio tone. What you see and hear. This alarm is indicated by flashing red battery warning light on the user interface. Connect power immediately and backup battery graphic alternate on the user interface screen. Flashing yellow light near the black power cable connector. Flashing yellow light near the white power cable connector. Constant audio tone. What this means? This alarm means the system controller is not receiving power from either power cable. And the pump is being powered by the system controller 11 volt lithium ion backup battery. The system controller backup battery will provide full support for at least 15 minutes. Thereafter, it enters into power saver mode until external power is restored. What you should do. Immediately connect both power cables to a working power source, mobile power unit module, power module or 14 volt lithium ion batteries for use with the HeartMade 2 LVAS. Alarm silence period. The silence period is 2 minutes or until a new hazard alarm occurs. Press the silence alarm button to silence the alarm. System controller low flow alarm. What you see and hear. This alarm is indicated by. Pump running symbol is on green. Low flow and call hospital contact alternate on the user interface screen. Flashing red heart warning light on the user interface. Constant audio tone. What this means? This alarm means pump flow is less than 2.5 liters per minute. What you should do? 1. Ensure the drive line is connected to the system controller. 2. 
Ensure the system controller is connected to a working power source, mobile power unit module, power module or 14 volt lithium ion batteries. 3. Clinically evaluate the patient and treat underlying conditions that could result in inadequate per load to the pump. 4. Perform an echo, if needed, to assess right and left ventricular function, to adjust pump speed, and to rule out inlet cannula obstruction. 5. Treat systemic, as high afterload. Alarm silence period. The silence period is 2 minutes or until a new hazard alarm occurs. Press the silence alarm button to silence the alarm. System controller low battery power alarm. What you see and hear. This alarm is indicated by Flashing red battery warning light on the user interface. Low battery and replace power immediately alternate on the user interface screen. Constant audio tone. What this means? This alarm means Less than 5 minutes of battery power remains when using battery power. OR The system controller is receiving inadequate power from the mobile power unit module or power module. Note The system controller enters into power saver mode, slowing the pump speed down to the low speed limit when the power in the batteries drops below a certain level. Pump speed will return to the fixed speed setting once the batteries are replaced or the system controller is connected to another external power source. If the batteries are fully depleted, the system controller backup battery will power the pump and the no external power alarm will be activated. The system controller will remain in power saver mode until external power is restored. What you should do. 1. Connect both power cables to a working power source, mobile power unit module, power module or 14 volt lithium ion batteries. 2. Check the mobile power unit module or power module patient cable for damage, if the alarm occurred while the patient was connected, and replace as needed. Alarm silence period. The silence period is 2 minutes or until a new hazard alarm occurs. Press the silence alarm button to silence the alarm. I hope you learned from this video. Press subscribe, like and share to support my channel. Press the bell button to be notified with my upcoming videos. Thank you.